All right, let's spend a little bit of time this week looking at one of my all-time favorite tools for getting that beautiful cinematic feel. I'm talking about the Dana Dolly. Let's go ahead and take a look at what makes this thing such a great tool. Every one of us that walk on a set, we're always looking to create that beautiful, magical, mythical, cinematic look on everything we do. And if you've ever been on a set and if you ever know how this thing goes, you kind of know what makes something cinematic, it's kind of a moving target. It's very subjective and it's comprised of multiple parts. It's lighting, composition, camera movement. There's so many factors that come in, even acting, let's be honest, that make something quote unquote cinematic. Now really the first question I think you need to ask before we go into the benefits of this is why do we need to have this cinematic footage anyway? And really I'll put it down to this. It's about client and audience expectation. Your clients, especially if you're doing commercial work, if you're coming at them and productions do cost a fair amount of money, you're getting crew out there, you're getting lights, you're getting equipment, your client's going to expect this thing to separate from what someone that doesn't have that or is a lower price point has. And the great thing is that Dana Dolly is one of those tools that allows you to get really, really high end professional looking camera moves that you don't get on most normal production. Really what that comes down to is most sliders, even a great slider is usually limited to about three feet. And in my experience, most of the time when I'm doing a cinematic move, I actually need more than three feet. Three feet is great for product stuff and I use sliders still for product stuff, but when I'm dealing with people and locations, I wanna get more than three feet. And I usually find my sweet spot is usually between eight and about 10 feet for Dana Dolly. And if you look here, you can see that just looking at this rail here, I have so much more room of motion that this gives me a lot more opportunity to play with my foreground, to play with my actors and my blocking. And those are the things that really contribute to that cinematic thing. And that's why I think this is so essential if you're doing client work that has any kind of budget, you just need to go ahead and figure out how to get a Dana Dolly on that set with you. Another question that you'll hear a lot too is, well, Brian, isn't a gimbal and a Steadicam cinematic? I mean, you can get all these great shots the same way and you don't have to set up all this equipment. And that is true. You can absolutely use gimbals and Steadicams for cinematic look. The thing is this though, there is a certain smoothness and control that comes from a dolly shot that really separates it from gimbals and Steadicams in my work. Now, Gimbals and Steadicam can be used cinematically. I'm not saying they can't, but if you have this beautiful, smooth, control vibe of a Dana Dolly, you're gonna be shocked at the difference it adds to your production value because, and your clients will greatly appreciate it. It's also one of those things too. Nowadays, anyone can show up with almost any camera and a gimbal. And this is one of those things that a good, smooth, beautiful tracking shot is always gonna come across as cinematic and I guarantee you, your clients are gonna be impressed that you brought it home and did it. Okay, so let's start off first off by talking about why I think a Dana Dolly gives you a cinematic feel much, much more than a traditional slider. And I'll start off right now with the differences between this and the slider. And it really comes down to, you know, trust me, I have used just about every slider known to man, I think. I've used the Kesslers, I've used the Rhino Arcs, I have used the Edelchromes, you name it, I've probably used it on a smaller slider. And smaller sliders have a place, they're very, very useful, especially if you are a one-man team or you're doing running gun work, a slider is great, it does give you that move. However, sliders have a great disadvantage that takes away from that organic feel to it. And that really comes down to weight. And if you look here, the Dana Dolly is a very, very simple contraption. It is essentially, you have uh, two braces on the end and the shuttle. And this shuttle is the key to the Dana Dolly. Now, if you look at this, this shuttle is sturdy. This is solid metal and it's got a lot of weight to it. And that's very, very important in helping you get the feel of an organic shot. And really what I always feel like when I'm doing a Dana Dolly 
is that I can get much, much smoother and organic shots. Whenever I'm using a slider, because of the weight differential, I always feel like I have to shoot at a higher frame rate. 60 frames a second, 48 frames a second, 120 frames a second to try and do that. The great thing about a Dana Dolly, especially if you're doing cinematic stuff with dialogue, is you can get these really, really organic, beautiful moves from it at 24 frames a second. You don't have to cheat the frame rate, and it's really, really good. It's super, super smooth, very, very fast. So that right there would be my number one difference between a slider and a Dana Dolly for those of you that are asking the question. Now, let's talk about the benefits of a Dana Dolly and why I think it's one of the keys out there if you're working on a mid to even large scale production, why you should have this to give you that cinematic tool in your toolkit. And the first thing is just going back on what I said earlier, it does have an incredibly beautiful subjective feel to it. The polyurethane wheels of the Dana Dolly and the weight of the shuttle allow you to have much, much more organic moves to your process. The Dana Dolly just comes across as so much more cinematic and you can feel the weight coming through the movement as it goes and it's just so buttery smooth. It's just an absolute joy to do it and I love the organic feel you get from it. The other great thing about a Dana Dolly, as far as the benefits go, is this. As you can see right here, I have an old 5D Mark IV. I have used these things all the way up to full-size RE cameras. And that's the great thing about this system. It is so unbelievably flexible. Small cameras, you're gonna get beautiful movement from it. You put a full-size RE on there with RE signature primes, follow focus, wireless monitors, it's gonna operate exactly the same, just as easy to operate, just as beautiful moves, so it really comes through. So the flexibility of this means that you can take literally any level of production and get great cinematic moves from it. Another thing that I would consider a huge benefit from this is these things are extremely flexible and fast to set up. Now, a lot of you out there, if you're using bigger productions for say cinematic stuff, you may be interested in incorporating a doorway dolly or laying down tracks. And those are beautiful too. Obviously those are extremely cinematic. But what I see about this, a Dana dolly lets you get 90% of what you can get from a traditional doorway dolly without having to lay down track and without worrying about the floor that you're on to what you need. And for my opinion, what this does, it gives you a great marriage where say you don't have a crew to lay down the track, but you wanna get beautiful side to side or beautiful dolly type shots. This really allows you to get it. The flexibility of it is really, really awesome. Another great benefit of this is you can actually take it. Now this is screwed in here with a ball head. I can take this and reverse it and actually get this right off the ground. So I can get these incredible dolly shots right off the ground using that same really, really awesome system of the Dana Dolly. And when I talk about flexibility, I've gotta come back to this. It is the length of rail. The great thing about the Dana Dolly is you can adjust, but basically go to any hardware store, buy some metal rail, put it in there, and you essentially have any size Dana Dolly you need. You can change the size of these so fast. It, most of the times if you go to a grip truck, They'll have six foot, eight foot, four foot sections of rails, and it's just really, really nice. I've got about a six foot section right here, as you can see. I was able to set it up very, very fast, very, very easy. I can literally just switch out the sides of these super fast. You can do it with one person, really fast with two people, but it's so much nicer to be able to go that fast when you're on a set and minutes are burning. It's also super easy to travel with because you don't need to travel with these rails. This is actually how the Dana Dolly travels. It actually travels in a single hard case, which is great. What that means is if you are in a bigger production, you can literally take this and put it on an airplane with you, go land where you need to go, go to the nearest Lowe's or Home Depot, buy the rail, and you've got a professional dolly system that you travel with you, easily fits in a car, a van, or to the airport and it's not this giant thing that's like a Matthews doorway dolly or something like that. And really the last thing that I would say if you are considering this is they are actually incredibly affordable to rent if you're thinking about having a production. 
The average Dana Dolly, I live in Atlanta, you can go to almost any rental house and rent one of these, they cost about 50, maybe $60 a day. They are not expensive. If you're getting a grip truck, you can literally just say, can we throw that on the grip truck? They'll throw it on there and you can have it for 50, 60 bucks a day. It is not that expensive. Now, I personally have bought a Dory Dolly just because I've been using it so often and I live in Athens. I'm about an hour outside of Atlanta and it just became kind of a chore for me to always have to go. I don't always need a grip truck, but I always want a Dana Dolly and it just became kind of cumbersome to do it. Now, if you wanna buy a system like this, you do need to buy uh, some stands for it and you need to figure out your rails. So really for about 1500 bucks, I was able to buy the Dana Dolly system and have it. And in my opinion, it makes its credit back right away inside of one, two shoots because I use it so much for so many shots. And it really makes the client feel good when they can see that work and that cinematic look approach. Now the Dana Dolly is not a perfect system. It's like anything else it has Great benefits, but it's not perfect. There are some drawbacks that I think you should be aware of if you're thinking about getting a Dana Dolly for one of your productions. The first thing is this. This is a fantastic system. You can set this up as a solo operator. You can. I would not recommend it. It's not really practical for a solo operator just because you know it's easier to move it with two people and it does just kind of require at least two people on your team to help you kind of get it set up and do it just right uh, just to make your day right so if you are a solo operator who is never going to be working with teams of people then a day in a dolly may not be the most practical application for you especially if you have to move quickly throughout the day the other drawback to this is if you are someone that wants to do a very very long say push in or pull back the rails can get in the shot if you have it too far. Now, I've actually been able to get around this a lot, but I'll put like a 35 or 50 on there and can get really, really great push-ins and really, really great pull-outs. I've never personally had a problem with that, but I do know that I cannot get these super wide angle pullbacks and stuff. It's just not going to work for that. So if you don't have a normal dolly, that could be a drawback and you may want to consider maybe using a gimbal or a floor dolly for something specifically like that. Now, that being said, those are my only two drawbacks that I really see to the Dana Dolly. Like I said in my final conclusion, this is such a great, great product. If you have never used a, a Dana Dolly before, you need to get one on your set and just see it. It'll be a game changer for you. I guarantee this will change the way you shoot. And I think you'll be so happy at what it adds to your production. And really, to rent one for 50 bucks a day, if you can get near a city or get near a grip truck, it's kind of like, why not try it? I, I think this is one of those things I recommend, go out there, try it, and just see if it works for you. But in my opinion, this is one of the most valuable tools you'll ever get on a set. Uh, even on million dollar movie sets, you'll still have a Dana Dolly because sometimes it makes more sense to get shots like this rather than putting down a doorway dolly or getting all that stuff track laid down. So anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. Please leave me any comments if you have any notes about this. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Yeah, go out there, keep on shooting. Yeah, and I'll talk to you soon.